I'm just a sweet girl looking for a guy to take care of. First, we're going to go for a hike, then we're going to make homemade granola. Yeah! Uh -oh. <laughs> Meet our two gentlemen. First, there's Robert, a wisecracking comedian looking for a girl who won't get too serious on him. And Chris, a soulful, sensitive guy looking for a soulful, sensitive girl who, well, who's also hot. Two different guys and one common goal. They both want to find love. We're bringing hot single girls to this Hollywood home where they'll have to impress our men just to get in the front door. Throughout the day, the guys will be getting rid of the ladies who don't measure up. In the end, only one couple will get a chance at love. This is Excused. Today I'm sitting with Robert and Chris, two strapping young lads. Robert? What do you look for in a Philly? Fun, nice, and sexy. Yeah. yeah. What do you look for? I like him smart, uh, funny, adventurous. You didn't say sexy. I didn't say. That's gonna come back to haunt ah. you. Here's how this works. We got a bunch of girls coming to the front door. You're gonna check them out, and based solely on your first impression of these girls, you're gonna pick the four that you like the best. Let them in the house. All the rest will be excused. All right? Okay. Hey guys, I'm a laid back chick who likes to hang. You should let me in. What's this? <laughs> what are you, an octopus? <laughs> are you underwater and we don't know because your hair looks amazing? Excuse or not excuse? Excused. You're excused. I don't know what this is. Hi guys, I'm a hula hooping yoga instructor and if you let me in, I'll show you how to move. Oh, okay. hopefully it's not like this. <laughs> I think she'll have a few more moves than that if she's a yoga instructor. Uh, you want to let her in? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's let her, her in. in. All right, come on in. Thanks. Hi, boys. I'm from France, and if you let me in, I will teach you the language. Laissez moi rentrer. Might as well add some culture in the room, right? Yeah. 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 Let's bring some her in. Diversity never hurt. Absolutely. Oui or oh, no? Oui. oui. Entrez vous! Uh -huh. Hey guys, I'm a fun-loving girl who loves to have fun, 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 and be spontaneous. But do you like to have fun, is what we want to know. No, I do not. So much fun or no fun? No fun no at all. Fun. Here's something spontaneous. We were gonna let you in, but change of plan! Ah, oh, you're excused. It's so fun. Just like you. Hey guys, I'm outgoing Italian and a fiery redhead, so let me in. Ginger. Yeah, redhead and Italian. No way, or amore! Amore! Yeah. Amore! Yeah. You're not Italian, where's your chest hair? <laughs> it's hidden. Come on in. Yay! Hey guys, I'm just a sweet girl looking for a guy to take care of, so can I come in? I feel like she's gonna make an itinerary for me and I like have to follow it. Yeah, and never go away afterwards. Yeah. Good morning, Pookie. First we're gonna go for a hike, then we're gonna make homemade granola. <laughs> Sounds like my weekend, you're excused. Ta-da! The party's here. If you want to have some fun, let me in. She's probably a whiskey girl. You can trust a whiskey girl. Yeah, it looks like yeah. she gets hammered. What about a whisker girl? Whisker girl? Not so much. Yes or no? Yes. No. Actually, the party's here. So come on in. Okay. Hi. Tell me a toast. Cheers. Cheers, ladies. Thank you. May the best girl win. Cheers. 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 All right, guys, you pick the four girls you like. I'm cutting you off there. We're going to get to know them by checking out their jazzed personality profiles. Let's meet Maggie. E. My name is Tiffany, I'm 27, and I'm a personal assistant. She's definitely a whiskey girl. I feel like whiskey girl means something else. No, 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 it doesn't mean anything else. You can just tell, like, you know, maybe she's a little hungover right now. <laughs> what else, Tiffany? I'm funny, I have personality, humor. What happened on humor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny, personality, humor. <laughs> I love humor. She seems like a lot of fun. Let's meet Jennifer. I was coming down. It was amazing. Are those spiders? <laughs> All right, guys. Now you have to excuse two of the girls. Who's first? Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah, too much of a free spirit, too much of a liability, I feel, to bring around my friends and family. I'm actually a little scared of her. Mais oui. Naked bike riding in the sand? Mm, not so much. All right. Jasmine, c'est bon. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Well, there are cat of you. That's French for four. <laughs> All right, it's enough with the French. Jasmine, you told us... You went to Burning Man, rode around naked on a bicycle... And were free spirit. Yes, I did. Yeah, so you're excused. All right, bye, girls. Oh, Cheers, Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers. Boys, you just lost a girl that could have taken you around the world in more ways than one. Free spirit, you can't take that free spirit with you. 
I'm sorry? It's a joke about alcohol. Bye. All right, guys, you're doing well. And you have to excuse one more girl, so who's it gonna be? Jennifer. Jennifer, why? Too much of a daddy's girl. You don't want me making out with a girl like, oh, this is so great, I wonder what my dad would think. Uh -huh. All right, Jennifer's excused. Hi, ladies. Hi. Jennifer, in your profile, you said that you're a daddy's girl who's used to being treated like a princess. And that's not gonna stop here. You are excused, your majesty! If these guys can't give me the royal treatment, I don't want anything to do with them anyway. Your carriage are weak, and by carriage I mean we have a driver and a town car. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. You've chosen two lovely girls. Now the four of you are going to head out on some fun dates we have planned for you. So get out there, have fun, and make them work for it. Yeah, sweet. Great. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Maggie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You that, I don't know, make me, make me, you know, pick you. Like with something. Okay. Something I think special about me is that I like to do, like I like to work out a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I do... Stripper pole aerobics. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> and might be kind of fun for you to watch, I guess. It's kind yeah, of <laughs> it's a, it sounds like a lot of fun for you to watch. Uh, I give you a little, like, I just, you know, believe in a lot of energy and okay. just, just kind of like see how you feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Wow, nice. <laughs> Good body, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So Maggie was real interesting. While she was saying that she was trying to feel out my spirituality, I think she was trying to feel out a little bit more than that. So I'm a little curious about this stripper aerobics yeah. that you do. Well, if it'll help you win you over, yeah, I'm just, I will give you a little demonstration. So many things are going through my mind right now. All right, like... I can actually use you as the pole. All right. <laughs> but what I would do if I swing around, do a little dirt. Through the abs, right. and then I would climb you oh. all the way to the top, and then I would slide down. <laughs> all right, never thought I'd enjoy being a stripper pole before. <laughs> Tiffany's a monkey, she just climbed right up, man. It was awesome, you know. I mean, I always dreamt about being a stripper pole, but like, I should be in one. It's sick. Coming up, the guys switch ladies and decide which one of these women stays and which one is excused. I'm feeling the energy of the show, I'm feeling hungry. Do we have any falafels? This morning, Maggie and Tiffany won over Robert and Chris. Now the guys swap ladies and decide which one to excuse. Ladies, your pole dancing and yoga groping will only get you so far in life and maybe even arrested in some states. But keep it up, because on this show, those are winning strategies. I'm a hooper. You're a I'm hooper? a lot of fun, actually. And I go to festivals and hoop, and I actually make hula hoops. They're a lot bigger than this. I'll show you what I got. So you just gotta kinda, it works your abdomen. Kind of. <laughs> what is something you think you can do to uh, to beat out Maggie in a competition? What couldn't I do? Well. Confident that you're all around better. Yeah, look, you see, <laughs> I'm hotter and funner and probably lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give each other a hoop hug here. The hoop hug. <laughs> what stays inside the hoop? Okay. What stays inside the hoop. <laughs> All right. So, we got uh, these everywhere then. Yeah, I uh, I hope to see you later today. Yeah, this was again. a real real treat. It was. It was, it was awesome. It was. I love it. Maggie's awesome. She's adorable and pretty. If I bring her home for a Sunday dinner, mom would be like, "Good job, Robert." I'll be like, "Yeah." So I'll show you oh. how I do my strip aerobics. <laughs> oh, okay. This is how I do it, really. Ah! <laughs> Yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just joking. No pole for you, buddy. <laughs> so Tiffany's like this just wild child, you know? She's crazy. She's out there. I like her. The ladies have had their opportunity to impress the guys, and now back at the house, Chris and Robert have to choose between the pole dancer and the hula hooper. Someone is going to be excused. All right, guys, you are back from your romantic day with the horses, and now you have to excuse one of the gorgeous ladies you just spent the day with. Who's it gonna be? Tiffany. Tiffany? Tiffany? Why? Uh, kind of looking for the, the nice girl in this scenario. I uh, kind of like Maggie better. Okay. I had a good connection with Maggie and she's just got some good soul to her. You might be the only two guys in history that are like, screw the sexuality. The connection is what matters on reality TV. All right. Well, it is your decision and Tiffany is excused. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. 
Tiffany, on your date with Chris, you rode him like a bull and smacked his butt. And on your date with Robert, you used him as a stripper bull. So in a move that 99% of men wouldn't make, you are excused. What? Fine. It's a connection thing and not like a... Connection? It's just a bad connection. You can blame it on your internet provider. Fine. If the boys want to pick Maggie over me, you know, the girl next door versus the hot chick, hey, party girl, go for it. Any regrets about your sexy moves? No, hello, I move all day. Yeah, that, that doesn't prove their point at all. Hey, Maggie. Hi.